Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we will be adding the speed breakers for our opponent car. Okay. For that in the scripts folder let's go inside the opponent car AI folder and in here we're going to create a new C sharp script by the name of speed breakers. Okay. And now let's go ahead and create a speed breaker. Okay. So right here as you can see this is the first run so what we will be doing right here is actually let's not do it right here because as you know that when the car start moving the acceleration on this area is already really slow okay we're gonna do it on the second run but anyways if you want to do it right there you can do that as well okay but i'm gonna do it do it right here on the second run so right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a 3d object cube okay let's move it right here okay and then let's make it 9 or actually let's make it 70 okay so as you can see it is covering this whole area and then nope right here make it 10 that's it Okay, so this is going to be our speed breaker but the s trigger of the box collider will be true and the mesh renderer will be disabled or you can actually remove it if you want but i will not remove it for now okay i'm going to leave this as it is just make this s trigger and then drag and drop this speed breaker script onto this okay now let's double click on it Okay, and now on the speed breaker script, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove that two methods, and at the top I'm gonna create a public float which will be by the name of duration of reduction. Okay, and let's set it to three by default. This will be the duration of the uh, car acceleration reduction. Okay like for three seconds we want the car speed to be reduced okay after this we're gonna create a private void which will be on trigger enter okay let me remove this and let's type on trigger enter okay and now in here we're gonna first of all check if the uh, the object has a opponent car script okay that object which will hit the speed breaker has a opponent car script okay so in order to check it we're gonna say opponent car okay this is this uh, class name opponent car okay let's name this as opponent car as well and then we're going to say other dot get component and get the opponent car script from that object and once we have the opponent car uh, script we're going to check if the opponent car script is not null okay and if that is the case then we're going to set the acceleration to a random value between uh, let's just say 0 0.5 and 1 okay so we're gonna say opponent car dot acceleration okay because on the opponent car we have this acceleration so acceleration will be equals to random dot range 0 0.1 uh, sorry 0 0.5 till 1 okay after this we're gonna set the maximum speed between uh, 10 and 40 so we're gonna say opponent car actually not the maximum speed but the current speed okay so the current speed of the car will be equals to random dot range and let's set it between 25 till 28 because we want to slow it down okay so choose a smaller values right here and then after this 
as you know that uh, it will only reduce the acceleration and current speed for three seconds and after three seconds when the turn is made by the cars we want to reset their uh, original uh, uh, acceleration and current speed okay so for that what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna say in your mediator let's name this as reset acceleration in here it gonna need the component car script okay and then we gonna first of all wait for the uh, duration of reduction to be done and then after that we're gonna reset the acceleration okay so in order to make it wait so that the run is made in that time we're gonna say yield return new wait for seconds let's wait for the duration of reduction and then after this we are gonna reset the acceleration and current speed okay but for resetting the acceleration and current speed we are gonna create another method on our opponent car script okay at the end but first of all let's check this out uh, to see if our car speed is being reduced when we hit the speed breaker or not okay so as you can see right here on the cube we have duration of reduction set to 3 let's actually name this as speed breaker 1 okay and uh, create an empty parent for this and let's name this as speed breakers okay so this will be our first speed breaker now let's select uh, these cars and start the game so as you can see their current speed is being increasing let's select one of the car to test it out okay so as you can see its current speed and acceleration is this and now when it hits this as you can see it is being reduced for uh, three seconds actually as you know that for now we are not resetting it back so that's why it is this but as you can see it is uh, the maximum the current speed is uh, going to 35 but as you can see the acceleration is not being reset because the opponent car uh, default acceleration is 3.5 so we need to reset that back to uh, 3.5 after hitting the speed breaker but let's just do that in the next video